हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल पप्पू करियर गाइड अ कम्प्लीट गाइड फॉर ऑल योर करियर नीड्स ऑफ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस इन्फोसिस न्यू सैलरी हाइक क्राइटेरिया इन 22 फॉर द फ्रेशर स्पैच एंड ऑल्सो आई विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विच आर विच आर गोइंग टू बी आस फॉर द मेनी ऑफ सब्सक्राइबर सैलरी विल ऑल्सो हाइक ऑन who all are in bench period infosys exit and termination criteria estimate generic training probation period estimate project allocation criteria skills or resume so let's begin this video and before starting the video please do check out my channel because i am sharing lots of information regarding the company and the job hiring so please visit my channel if you like my channel please do subscribe this channel and share with your friend and never and, and never forget to like any of my videos please do like and support me guys okay so let's start so here you can see my screen this is one of my subscriber who commented my videos okay last uh, i think i, I uh, when i uploaded that, that video that sent september salary hike in that particular video he, he commented on my video okay so let's see so i am giving credit to the pratik ke who is commented this particular things because he is he's nicely uh, representing the how the infosys uh, doing a salary hike okay i am working in infosys joint 21st june 2021 i got release after that in july 5 okay so the probation period starts started after releasing from training and its date was 1st august okay so before that he is on the training okay and after releasing the uh, i got release after that in july 5th okay so the probation uh, the so the probation period started after release from training and its date was 1st august got salary hike in august 2022 that's how it is in infosys if you are released from training on let's Say fifth of month of or twentieth of the month, then your probation period start from first of the next month. Okay, I was on getting a training bench after July till October. In October, I was mapped to a project. So in Infosys, salary hike will depend on when you are released from generic and stream training. Okay, even if you are in bench after training, your salary will be hiked. So I am just summarizing summarizing these things. Okay, so मान लो कि आपका जो है जॉइनिंग uh, हुआ है मान लो फरवरी में ओके फरवरी सेकेंड में आपका जॉइनिंग हुआ है ओके तो फरवरी पे जब जॉइनिंग हुआ आपका ट्रेनिंग हुआ आपका ट्रेनिंग पीरियड चल रहा है जिसमें आपका स्ट्रीम और ट्रेनिंग पीरियड चल रहा है ठीक है तो जनरिक और स्ट्रीम ट्रेनिंग चला दो आपका होता है ठीक है तो यहाँ पर आपका चल रहा है तो मान लो कि आपका जो है जुलाई में ये कम्प्लीट हुआ ट्रेनिंग तो जब से आप लोग जब आप लोग ट्रेनिंग कम्प्लीट कर लेते हो इन्फोसिस का जुलाई से तो नेक्स्ट ईयर जुलाई में आपका जो है सैलरी हाइक हो जाएगा मतलब एक साल बाद जब आप लोग ट्रेनिंग से निकलते हो उसकी जस्ट एक साल बाद आप लोगों का सैलरी हाइक होगा ठीक है तो जब भी आप मतलब कि ट्रेनिंग पीरियड में आपका सैलरी हाइक नहीं मिलेगा बट आफ्टर कम्पीटिंग और ट्रेनिंग पीरियड ओके यू आर रिलीज फ्रॉम द ट्रेनिंग पीरियड ओके जेनरिक और स्ट्रीम ट्रेनिंग एंड आफ्टर रिलीजिंग इफ यू आर स्टिल इन बैच लेट सपोज आई एम कम्प्लीट माई ट्रेनिंग ओके बट आफ्टर कम्प्लीट माई ट्रेनिंग आई डेंट गोट एनी प्रोजेक्ट सो इट्स नॉट मीन लाइक दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट एनी एनी ऑफ सैलरी हाइक you are going to get a salary hike because you completed your training period after completing your training period if you are in bench then your salary will be hiked from the next year onwards okay in every month in every year you are going to uh, be get a salary hike so these things this is summarize if you want you can just read, out, read, it, read it again you will getting a very clear idea okay salary will also hike on who all are in the bench period yes definitely in for this exit and termination criteria fed see if you are not meeting the infosys eligibility criteria because infosys change their criteria according to the reason wise okay so sir what is the eligibility criteria of the reason wise just search on channel uh, search on my channel and search on youtube appu career guide infosys reason wise uh, eligibility criteria you will find my videos i, I recently uploaded that video okay in that particular video i said that like, like lots of student got rejection mail because they are not uh, fulfilling their uh, 10 12th and ug percentage criteria and they are getting a rejection mail also and second uh, second thing that like if you are not performing well in the uh, training uh, training period and if you are not performing well and if you are not qualifying the exam after the, after the three or four warning then you are supposed to be rejected and also if you are doing cheating in the training period while giving your exam then also you are supposed to be going to be rejected by the company without any notice you can say stream or generic training period yes and there is a two training you are getting first one is stream and generic training you are getting supposed to get in the mensur location if you are supposed to visit your uh, lo office location then you have to first visit the infosys mensur location after completing the training you may be submit uh, you may be allocated to the another another uh, location as well okay so probation period start 
when you join the company start your training estimate project allocation criteria skills or resume no there is a no skills required resume shortlisting criteria while they are allocating allocating to your project so project allocation criteria depends on the company business requirement let's suppose you know java python c c++ but company wants testing so you are going to get the stream or generic training on the, the testing and after completing your testing through six months then you are going to be work on the testing team in spite of being you know java python very well and you, you are satisfied sir can i say some can i say this to my hr that i know python java can they receive you uh, can they change my training no it will not happen because they will just tell you see after name whatever you have name your your name bowling uh, no it totally depends on the company requirement if you know java then it's very good but our company wants testing so you have to go with the testing as well it's not like that sir, I'm very satisfied, I am a very much programmer, uh, you know, uh, I'm getting a, uh, what I want. No, it's not like that. But if you, you can ask this HR, uh, you can uh, ask this question, you know, HR also, but they will not going to get you because I already tried these things lots of time in my company and I already left two to three company right now. Previously, I did, I both company. This is the only reason why I'm, I'm lefting my lots of company. Okay. So this reason my company why I leave the company is that I don't get a project in my opinion because my skills are more coding and I feel good in Java Python. But they are providing me a testing and a support role you can say and another which I, which I don't know which I am which not interested. So I do this work. So I think that's it for this video. So first of all, how much salary is going to be in one year? 3.5, 3.6, which is your salary. In that case, you will get 4 to 5 or 6 months. Uh, performance होता है training में उसके हिसाब से आपको salary rank मिलता है अगर project allocate हो गया तो project allocation पे आ, project में कैसा आपने काम करा कैसा वो performance रहा है कितना आपने output दिया है client को उसके हिसाब से आपको salary rank होता है up to 12% 13% भी हो सकता है but ज़्यादा आप लोग expect मत करना in I, in IT service based company क्योंकि ये सारी service based company है क्योंकि product based company नहीं है कि तो आप जो कि आपका तक, like, अगर अगर ये product based company होती तो आपको salary rank काफी ज़्यादा but ये service based company है तो आप लोग 12 से 13% तक ही मान Three, four to five uh, percent is going to be your salary high. So I think that's it for the video. If you have any comment, please tell us. If you have any company, if you know any other company, please comment. If you know any other company, please comment. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.